I just was so taken with um, how imaginative the stories were from Pixar, and it just seemed like a place where they really valued quality. Yeah. Um, when a lot of you know children's media, if you, whatever that is, um, didn't always do that, and so just I don't know. From that point on, I just loved Pixar. Stranger from the outside. Ready. The thing that resonated so much with me was it seemed like they had a really strong commitment to quality for quality's sake. Like, let's make a movie as good as we can make it, just for the sake of making a good movie. Some kind of old, exclusive 1996 commemorative 3D. <laughs> it's got like a bunch of stuff about Toy Story in here, and then it, and then it comes with the VHS. <laughs> so this is like something that they sold. <laughs> The first computer animated thing. <laughs> animated films were just seen as these products that you just kind of churn out in the 90s and stuff. Like, you have some great films in the early 90s, and then a lot of, a lot of stuff just kind of started coming out that just was like, eh, this is very forgettable. And it always seemed to me that in that sort of atmosphere of quality doesn't really matter, Pixar always said, no, quality is the thing that matters the most. And if we, if we worry about making good quality stuff, then money will come and like things will come and that has sort of been a philosophy that I've tried to adopt in my life like let's like just do the best you can at whatever project you're involved with and like good things will come as a result of that to infinity and beyond so uh, how long is this going to take squirrel you can't rush art for a number of years I was just listening to podcasts voraciously and um, and then I kind of always wanted to do one because I was interested in podcasts, but I knew it would take a lot of work and I just didn't think there was anything that I was that passionate about that I could commit to, you know? And then I realized, wait, Pixar. <laughs> Pixar is something that like I could talk endlessly about. <laughs> and I had to many people that I knew. I would go on dates and just talk to them about Pixar the whole time. <laughs> yes, well, I'll, uh, I'll try to be less careless. I, through Twitter, I reached out to some Pixar artists and realized that some of them had actually had actually heard of my podcast, and so and I was like, "What?" There were a couple of animators, and so um, I reached out to them, and I was like, through Twitter, um, "Do you want to come on my podcast, like, and talk about what it's like to work at Pixar?" And they were like, "Sure, let's do it." And that was a very um, exciting moment for me because it was I just had put Pixar in this pedestal and just it was amazing to me that somebody inside Pixar was actually paying attention to something that I was doing. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Pixar podcast. <laughs>